Welcome, welcome, people. And uh, today, I've been away for so long. I've been grinding. And we actually came up with this with my brother. This is amazing, guys. This is a very powerful tool that we've actually created in Lightwave, and we are happy about it. So, this is a short description. It's a motion loader. You use it with IK Booster. You create a motion using IK Booster. And once you do that, you you can save that motion and then after you save it you can reload it anytime if it's the same rig that is so you need the same rig for the characters that's how it works let's jump right in and let me explain more all right welcome back so if you haven't subscribed yet it's about time go back there click that button and don't forget to click the notification button, the bell, so that you never miss my videos. Thank you so much for the support. Um, without wasting too much time, my brother invented a new plugin in Lightroom. Uh, let me show you just what it can do. So this is a series we are making called Mafera. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, even here on, on YouTube. Uh, the link is on the screen. Uh, so let's say you see the way these are. Um, let's say this is the this is the main uh, control. So let me just move this guy in front, and uh, let's see. So. Uh, let me bring in the plugin first before we go too far. So utilities, master plugins. So my brother's name is Ethan. So he made this Ethan's motion loader. So I just double click on it. I don't need this anymore. Let me bring it here. Say I want a walk cycle. So he's made a lot of stuff here. Look, this is the folder where all the motions are saved. By the way, we use a lot of IK booster in this. So most of these motions, we're actually making them using IK Booster and saving them with IK Booster. So uh, let's say I want to load the motion. Um, so I'll select my object that I want to load my motion to. There are so many motions. So if I come to the main folder here, there's a lot of motions. There are poses here. And look at the amazing thing. He's divided this. You can actually get rid of the position uh, keyframes, the rotation, same, and the scale. You can actually remove all of them. So if I just untick this, all the scale, um, the keyframes, gone. Okay. Then here you can choose the type of uh, curves that you're making. If you want them to be linear, uh, braziers, stepped, and so on. But for us, for what we do, we just like linear. So we leave it there. And I'll come back to this. This is an amazing uh, part of this thing. Let's say, for example, I want my character to fold its arms. I'll just click on this. Voila. He's folding his arms. You see that? Uh, say I don't like what I just did. I want him to uh, hold his waist. Voila. He's holding his waist. Right there. No time wasted. I can also remove the... Let me just remove this. So it's better to see. There are so many. Like holding chin. He's holding his chin. We just click and it's happening. You know? Then, not just... Uh, let me increase this. Let's say... Let's take it up to... Let's say 120. Let's say I want this character to walk. I'll bring him back to the default pose. There we go. Here we have folders. So we have arms, the adult, this paw. There's so many folders. You actually make your own folders and uh, you actually save your own motions in here. So you come here, the walk. The walk. So if I, let's say I want him to walk, uh, I'll just click here on the walk. Walk normal. And the walk cycle is there. And say I want him to continue walking after 
12 frames. I just come here, click again. He continues to walk. Same thing, I can even go up to 100 millions, trillions, guys. This is not something to play around with. This is a master plugin. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I can actually just do this so for example i want to create a walk i come here i say i want this guy to be here at this point i'll select the base uh add a keyframe here say double click on the keyframe i get it here and drag it back and well he's working already that's like that just took me like two minutes to create that animation and say i want him to come to a stop He's holding his waist or he's folding his arms i'll move say four frames here i come back to my main folder so this is where this part comes in so instead of me coming back here looking for the main folder I just come here and click and uh let's say we were saying we want him to hold his fold his arms um oops that's another thing so here about this a plugin when you're actually loading a motion you only load to the old to the object that you are actually selecting while you were uh, saving so I'll delete this so I'll come here let me delete this keyframe delete uh, say it's back here so I need to select the actual object this Matteo 2 object so I select this and bam so and well i've been an animator for so long i know how to trick eyes so what i'll do is i'll come here and I'll activate the ik booster Control b on the keyboard and just select this let me just move closer so that i can see it so i'll just add an in between like so so you know what we have it goes back and let me select the light so that we can see this properly so here's what we have. Why wouldn't you want this? And not to mention, you see, uh, let's say he's standing like this. And the next thing I want is for him to, let's say, run. So I look for my folder here called running, this one here. And I just come here and select my object. Click on the run tool is running so i can add as many as i want here i'm running but here's another thing so you see from the last keyframe here to this one i didn't create another keyframe at the end so what happens is i'll just move here uh four steps back i come here what i'll do is while selecting my object i'll just come here copy last keyframe and come back to my bone Select my bone as well. Make sure you're in IK Booster. Select my bone and copy last key. So what this does is it copies the last key that you actually added at the end. And voila. So I just select my main object here, down here. And just drag. It's gone. So same thing. I forgot here. So the run starts from here. So I want to copy the last keyframe. So I just come here, copy last. Voila, it's done. And it goes. So we just created an animation here. Uh, literally, if you're looking at the video, the time uh, I've spent on making this, it's amazing, it's incredible. You can make a series within, uh, within I don't know, animations take time, but i'm thinking with this you can actually make a complete series within three four months hmm. depends with how fast you are let's create a preview over this and let's see what we've made so far and you know the most amazing thing with ik booster is you put bones in here you can animate as many characters as you want say you see the same way this character is actually moving here i can make these guys do whatever i want at the same time 
So I'm selecting this guy. Let's say I want him to. Um, I also want him to just pass walking. Uh, let's say he's walking, holding his bag. So there are so many different ones in here, you know. You just continue clicking. And here's the amazing thing. You see this? The way I'm clicking here. Let's say I want him to hold uh, the rope of the bag on one hand. So, look at this. He's walking. He lets go. The next thing you know, he lets go with two, two hands. And he's back holding both of them. See how amazing this is. So I'll just come down here, drag this thing all the way through the screen. What animation made? Simple stuff. If I just pull him a bit backwards, say, I don't want him to slide too much. Same thing this side. Let's say I just want that guy to run like throughout. I just got the run. Let's see, is he running? Alright, he is. I'll just select this and put the running. Let's continue add the running. And more running. And more running. So there are as many pauses as you can make and limitless possibilities guys with this thing so say i want this guy to be off the screen by oops i want him to be off the screen by this point i just drag him like so Let's drag it backwards again. I feel like it's a bit like it's still sliding a bit. Let's try and make a preview over this. Let's see what we just made. Complex stuff made easy. This is our animation and for everybody who wants the plugin, if you want to purchase the plugin, just uh, let me know. Uh, there's my email down there. Uh, it's in the description uh, part of the video. Just send me a message and we can actually talk. And this thing is still being developed for everybody who is actually interested. So um, still adding more motions to it. And um, the thing is, if you feel like the other things that we should add to this thing we can actually add them uh, i would love to hear the suggestions in the comments so um like i for one right now i already told him i want the search button you can actually just put a search engine somewhere here where i don't want to be looking for the stuff here i want to be typing let's say if i want to run cycle i just type run and i find it thank you very much for watching and bye bye